Well, good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Corey Rowan here with Yorkville First, Pleasant Grove, and Tippecanoe United Methodist Church, bringing you another devotional out of Matthew 5. And we're going to move into the topic of anger. And this is a topic I'm sure many of us wish we could have just avoid. There are, unfortunately, there are many of us. Anger is sometimes our first emotion. It's one of the easiest impulses to have. But Jesus has a few words to say about anger. And so beginning in verse 21, he says, You have heard that our ancestors you have heard that our ancestors were told, you must not murder. If you commit murder, you are subject to judgment. That's a pretty easy commandment. You know, one of the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not murder. Uh, you know, most of us don't have the impulse to murder somebody, so we're like, we're fine there. But it gets even, you know, Jesus takes it a step further. But I say, if you are even angry with someone, you are subject to judgment. If you call someone an idiot, you are in the dangers of being brought before the court. And if you curse someone, you are in dangers of the fires of hell. And at this point, we could all jump back and say, well, we've done each and every one of those. You see, it's real easy when we read the commandment, do not murder. But Christ is saying, well, you say you don't murder. But if you're even angry with somebody, you're guilty of committing murder in the heart. If you call somebody an idiot, I mean, how many of us name call or how many of us call somebody an idiot? It says we're subject to being brought before the court. And the court that it's talking about is the Sanhedrin. And this was a court that had the ability to put somebody to death. And then it says, if you are, if you curse someone, you are in dangers of the fires of hell. And now these fires of hell, yes, Jesus is spiritually talking about hell itself, but he's also talking about that, you know, the, the Sanhedrin, one of the one of the judgments they could put against somebody is casting them in to the the fires of a trash heap. You see, the Jewish people outside of Jerusalem, they would burn their trash in a Kidron Valley, and it would be burning 24-7, burning their trash. And that's the fires of hell they could cast you in for cursing someone. And so Jesus sets up this impossible task for us. He says, yes, it's easy not to murder, but if you're even angry with somebody, you're guilty. And so what is our solution? Well, again, the purpose of the law just before that was to show us our need for a Savior. And so Jesus is saying here, look, you can't do this without me. And so, yes, we can try to not be angry on our own, but that comes from Christ. And so today, take encouragement from knowing that this is the heart that Christ gives you. He takes out that anger, and if you'll give it to him, he will take it from you. And so if you're suffering with anger today, give it to the Lord, and he will free you of it. He came to save us from our sins, and allow him to do that today. Amen.